welcome to Captain Collier's chemistry class where we're going to be talking about cleaning up blue bilge water. Captain Collier's got some blue bilge water that he needs cleaning up and he's trying to figure out exactly how to do that. Now one of his crew members suggested we could use diapers. Diapers absorb things uh, like water and uh, we're trying to understand why the diapers may or may not work. So here's a diaper that we've decided to uh, try. We're going to try some pure water and pour into it. We're going to see how much the diaper can actually hold. You can see we've poured some water in here and it uh, absorbs the water very quickly. And we pour some more in there, quite a bit actually. And the diaper keeps absorbing that water. And we'll see up oh, there we go for the big pour look at all that water that diaper is absorbing and very very quickly it goes right into the absorbent core of the diaper which is a good thing if you're a baby and I'm gonna find out whether that's gonna be good for us and uh, using it in our bilge cleanup look we've used almost all the water that we started off with about one quart now we're going to mix some salt into our quart of water we're going to see what the impact of salt is on the absorbent material in the diaper and see whether or not it's going to absorb as much water as it did with the pure water so we see we start pouring the, the water the salt water into the diaper and it's not going in as quickly as the pure water did it's going in much more slowly so we're going to look and see if we can put any more water in there and we can see that the water is pooling up well I'm not sure if that's good or bad I'm not really sure at this point but we're going to find out more about the impact of salt water on the absorbent material in the diaper and you see we barely poured any water at all in there so the salt definitely had an impact on the absorbent material in the diaper uh, I don't know well here's super absorbent material that's what's actually in the diaper the super absorbent material soaks up all that water that we saw in the first experiment and we saw that the salt didn't so now pause your video and read the following on the screen um, and do the predictions and then after you've made your predictions draw your picture and press play for the next part now cleaning up the blue bilge water okay here goes the experiment hopefully you've had a chance to draw your predictions so here's the pure water and we're gonna pour that into the super absorbent and we see how quickly the water is absorbed and we're doing this in fast forward motion if you will so don't get seasick as you're watching me shake up the super absorbent but you can see it continues to absorb the super or the water that's why we call it super absorbent and it grows and it's almost overflowing our container now we're going to use a salt solution and do the same experiment and see what happens well, it's absorbing the water, shaking it around a little bit to distribute it, but it's not absorbing it as quickly, and it's not growing as quickly. So let's see if we can put a little more water in there. There we go. We've got the water, but it's kind of pooling, and it's really not absorbing very well. Mm -hmm. So the salt must have some impact on the super absorbent material, and we need to understand if that's a good thing or a bad thing. So finally, we're going to put some super absorbent about two grams into a dilute solution of our blue bilge water and this is calcium or I'm sorry copper chloride copper chloride see how the copper chloride has gone into the super absorbent but the super absorbent itself has not changed I wonder why but this might be a good way for Captain Collier to clean it up and look at the water the le on the left test tube is still got the copper chloride in it and it's still kind of bluish the one on the right is the one where we cleaned it up so now let's look at the homework questions and we'll send you an extra copy or a separate copy so you can answer these questions about the super absorbent material and the copper chloride and salt impact on that so thank you for watching Captain Collier's chemistry class cleaning up the blue bilge water.
have a great day.